How are you doing today? Welcome to the Friday Off the Grid After Party. Friday Night Stitching After Party. I'm your host, Gerald, commonly known as Ginger Gerald. Hope you're all ready to sit down, stitch a while, or craft a while if you're not a stitcher, but you're here to knit or diamond paint with me as as I stitch. I'm currently working on my Jacobean Bell Pull from the 1980 Leisure Arts booklet that I have. I have done a little bit of prep work this morning on this so that I can easily just not really have to worry about looking at the chart or filling or, or counting much. All I have to worry about is filling in the tree trunk. So this morning, this morning, I went ahead and filled in the central part of the tree or the either the tree or the vine trunk as well as outlined this I don't know if this is a I don't think this is a flower I think this is like a a sprout of a new vine so I went ahead and outlined that so that way then I can easily Fill in now. This is all one color being filled in on the remaining part of the trunk. So I have you setting in a slightly different perspective today just because my normal perspective, because of this, the, this, this count of fabric, it was very hard for you to be able to see what I was doing. So this is a little bit closer a little bit easier for you to see. I know it's still not the greatest of view, but uh, it's as good as I can get in order for you to see what I'm working on if you are watching. Last night, I called it an early night. I just was not really feeling this like a whole lot of stitching last night so I m my progress last night included stitching the deer so I worked on the deer and some of the outline of this tree or the, the vine or the tree or it looks like a tree but I, I think it's more like a vine I am stitching this on a 40 count Verdal even weave. It came to me as white and I copy dyed this. If you have not been following my weekly updates or if you're new to my channel, I know uh, Verdal even weave is fairly uncommon. And so many people don't know that it even exists. Yes, it does exist. It is a 40 count. It stitches up just like any other even weave, and uh, I'm absolutely loving this fabric. I will say the coffee dyed, I was a little bit concerned when I started stitching the browns, just because the, the tones of the browns were a little bit hard to see at first. But once I got all three all three brown colors onto the fabric they turned out it turned out much nicer and you're able to it's actually looking pretty nice on the screen and uh and on the fabric and i'm i'm actually very pleased with the how the the fabric and the and the threads are looking together so this was my first attempt at coffee dyeing, so that was a fun experience. I don't think it's going to be something I do regularly, but I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm willing to try anything once just to say that I've tried it and to experience it because why not? It's a super simple thing. 
And so, um, and all I did was go ahead and dip it in some hot coffee and, and let it air dry. So a, a simple, not too time or energy extensive project. And I think the, the, the results are, are pretty, pretty nice. I actually am filming this fairly late on Saturday because I was trying to get those sections ready to go for the for filming so I was able to easily just stitch and have a not have to focus too hard on counting or anything. So I am getting this going pretty late and then once I get this done, I think what I am planning on doing is I'm going to go ahead and get my Christmas tree set up and get decorated for Christmas. I am typically one that decorates the weekend of Thanksgiving if I'm home. If I'm not home, then I try to decorate sometime in November just because I want to enjoy the decorations as long as possible. For me, I think it's a lot of work to, to put up Christmas decorations and then only get to enjoy it for a short amount of time being the month of, of uh, December. So I like to keep them up as long as possible, especially because I enjoy them so much. And Christmas is the only holiday that I decorate for in my house, primarily because it's the only holiday I uh, have decorations for because it's... I don't have a lot of space in my home, so in order to, I, I, I want, I, I don't want to keep a lot of decorations that I just don't have space for. So I, I, I have a tree and a stocking, and that's about it. So this year I am going to be decorating probably today, and. It's a week before Thanksgiving. Usually I decorate Thanksgiving weekend or right around that. Even though this year I was really feeling it, I think even the weekend before Halloween, I was thinking about putting the Christmas tree up. But I didn't do it. Just switching out my threads here. And then I'm also one that likes to keep my Christmas tree and decorations up well after the holidays. So we'll see how long I end up keeping them up. But I have been known to keep them up all the way through at least the middle of January. Mainly too, we have Martin Luther King Jr. Day in, in the middle of January. And that's, an, uh, that's a long weekend for us here in the United States so I often will wait until that weekend so I have more time to to 
take my time to take the decorations down. I think oftentimes it feels like it takes longer to take the de decorations down than it does to put them up. So I'm hoping today I will get that done and then I can get back to stitching and enjoy a nice relaxing afternoon of Christmas decorations and stitching. Now, if you followed me on my weekly update on Wednesday, no, it was actually on Thursday this week, you will have seen that I had an extensive amount of progress to show this week, this last week. I don't think that's going to happen this week. So far, I have not been very productive when it comes to stitching since that update and I don't foresee a lot of progress in the coming week just because of the holiday and traveling because I am traveling for Thanksgiving to a very very distant long trip that I have to go on so I'm not projecting to get a lot of progress done this week, which is fine. We have we all I think have those weeks where we have lots of progress weeks and then we have weeks that we just don't have a lot of progress. So this is going to be one of those weeks I think that I just do not get a lot of progress done which I'm fine with. I, I'm still deciding what I want to to work on this week and what I want to take with me on thanks for the Thanksgiving holiday. I have some ideas, but you know, of course that will always change up until the point where I have to pack and be ready to go. What I do know is that whatever I take and whatever I work on this weekend, I'm going to enjoy, or whatever I work on this week, I'm going to enjoy. And if I'm not enjoying it, I'm going to switch it out and work on something else. So all of our snow from the first winter storm of the year has gone in our neck of the woods here in New southern New Jersey. I hope if you were also impacted by, I think it was winter storm Avery, that it didn't affect you too much. I know... The entire southern New Jersey area was greatly affected, far more than they ever predicted it to be here. And as far as the weather, the weather forecasters and news reporters and uh, it was definitely far different than projected. And I am now much more prepared for the next winter storm with having my snow brush in the car now and being ready for the next the next chance of snow. I think partially I was in a state of denial as far as, oh, I don't want it to be winter yet. And now I'm just ready for ready for it to be spring. 
but it'll be spring soon enough and we'll be like, wow, I can't believe it's spring already. So as I've been looking at this pattern and planning out what I've been wanting to do, you can see I have reached the top of, this is the top of the first or the bottom page on the pattern. So this is page one of one, two, three, four, five. So there's five pages of this size. So there's four more pages of this size on top here. So it's going to, and but this is a, as wide as it will be. So as wide as my hand, probably each page is about the size of my hand. So I'm going to pretty much stitch the entire pattern as is. However, I do think I'm going to stitch. There is a butterfly farther up in one of the higher pages. I might leave the butterfly out just because butterflies aren't really my thing. I'm just, this is just me thinking out loud right now. I, I, this is what I've been thinking about. And because I have two squirrels that come to visit me on a regular basis, I might go ahead and stitch in another squirrel somewhere, maybe sitting on the tree somewhere to represent Geo and Brooks. So that is what I'm thinking at the moment just to switch it up and make it a little bit more personalized for me. But who knows, when I get to the butterfly, I might end up stitching it. So, and still add it in a squirrel. It's hard to say. But as of right now, that is what I'm thinking about doing.
So I hope you are all having a wonderful stitching weekend or week or whatever day you're watching this. I'm going to let this, I'm going to end this a little bit early today just so, because I have so much planned that I want to get done today with my decorations and getting this edited and uploaded onto YouTube. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend or week and I will see you on my next update. I will most likely not be making a stitch with me video next week just because it is the week uh, the holiday weekend and I will be sent, spending time with family and friends. So but do not I am not sure what my my week leading up to the holiday is going to be. So we will see what happens in the coming few days. So with, but do not be surprised if there is no sti uh, stitch with me next Saturday. With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Don't forget my, my cross stitch patterns in my Etsy shop, Ginger Gerald Designs. Have free shipping if you purchase two or more printed patterns and use the coupon code buy to ship free and I will see you all in the next update don't forget to always be creative